Good morning, my son. So today, guys, I just really wanted to talk about literally who is the best blood in the Frenchie world, right? Let's let's talk about it, man. <laughs> A lot of you guys actually have been asking me all the time, man, texting me, hey, bro, who's the best blood? What should I get into? I wanted to talk about this again just because uh, not a lot of you guys seen that video. Um, so I I'm putting a different title this time just to make it more clickbaity. Who is the best blood? So that way can, people can click on this video. And, man, I just wanted to say, you guys, <clears throat> the best blood in the Frenchie world is there is no best blood, right? There is none. Every blood has its own flaws. We all have our own flaws. XB, Grinch, Seuss, DK, every one of them. Like, it don't matter what they say, you know, that they don't got no flaws. Trust me, bro, they got flaws. You know, they got flaws. You know, I can point it out or they can point it out themselves. And a lot of us, you know, a lot of us with those bloods, um, we, we admit, <laughs> honestly, the, the humble ones, we, we admit what are what is the flaws within our dogs and we, we don't care if you go with our blood we we honestly we don't care man we really don't care what what we care most about is making sure that you believe in your blood that you love your dogs right you don't have to go with my blood right the primitive blood my uncle's blood um <clears throat> You don't even have to go with the DK blood. And also, I think even my blood itself already, it's a blood of itself, honestly. You know, later on, when I start creating my own dogs, um, besides Vegeta, when I create my own studs, my own females, my own foundations, that is when I can claim my own blood. But the reason why I claim that blood, because I didn't create Vegeta, right? I did not create Vegeta. Yogi created Vegeta, right? With his bitch going in with, with my other uncles, with my uncle Tony's um, stuff with Bizarre, you know, rest in peace, Bizarre. So that's what I wanted to talk about today because the thing is, a lot of you guys always ask me, like, I still get it to this day for real, like, who is the best blood? Who should I go with? I want to hop on your shit, but man, I like this person's better, you know, and it's it's no disrespect to me at all, you know. I, 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 I just don't care, you know, like, dude, feel free to go with that blood. I, we, we don't care, you know, we really don't care. Um, even the XB owners, they don't care, you know. They they hype up their shit like they say that they're they they are the best shit, you know. But that's just the part. That's just the way promotion is. You, you have to hype up your shit. You have to believe that your shit is the best, right? You know. I know my shit's got flaws, right? <clears throat> but I know my shit's got strength. You know, my 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 dogs got their their strengths too, right? Compared to their top bloods, um, it's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> so. In the end, like, I have to hype up my dogs, you know, promote them, you know, that's just the same for you guys. You have to promote your dogs and hype them up and say that they are the best of everything for, in your eyes, and that that you love them for real, that you got to hype them up. That, that's what promotion is all about. You got to love your dogs. So today, guys, I just really wanted to talk about, man, because um, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to Edwin with uh, Dog Pound Bullies with the XB Blood. Whew, man, brother. If you're watching this video, man, I'm just going to say, man, you got some badass motherfucking dogs for real, man. And uh, first time, like, it was on, I saw him on Facebook. And then when I saw um his his female, Mystique, I would just say, holy shit, this, this bitch is insane. Um, I was like, what are those back things right there? It looks kind of weird. And then to come find out, it was, it was like back muscles, <clears throat> right? back muscles so i wanted to pop this picture up right here for you guys um i made this little picture right here i didn't include grinch and seuss in them but i, I did just include primitive blood mr t dk blood uh going to get going against like xb right um xb is known to have the backs right that, that's just the damn truth um and when you see a lot of xb dogs they they take a lot of pictures of the backs um we see a lot of the DK blood or, or the primitive blood, 
This is just a damn truth. You see a lot of more of the fronts, right? A lot of more of the fronts. That blood, we're, my blood too, you know, we were meant to have the damn fronts, right? The, the, the shoulders, the delts, the spread, the forearms. We got an okay back, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real. We, we got an okay back. Um, but even that, that's all we got. <laughs> but I love that. You can work with the dog to make him have a stronger back. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's pretty much, that, that's why I like my blood better. Because I can work with my back, right? Um, my dogs run out, run out all the time. So I guess you can say they are indirectly exercising. They, they, they run out all the damn time. So that's how I think Cardi, she's naturally like that. Because the thing is, um, she, she just hit puberty. Like she's just like, she's growing too. She's getting through that linky stage. And then Cardi's blood is known to have those back muscles too. Because she came from those bloods too you know um but she had the best of both worlds from her blood you know from from roach's blood and then from bamba's from Bamba's pedigree as well so i really wanted to say this with edwin's dogs man because edwin's he's got some badass motherfucking dogs too you know hold on guys i gotta use the restroom <laughs> i guys yeah sorry about that i i had to use the restroom man sorry <laughs> so i ruined the damn vlog so okay so as i was saying we're pretty much with with edwin's dog um, I, I like his dogs a lot, you know, I really do because like it, it made me like wow I, I want to get into XB, you know, I was just like damn. I, I like that shit But at the same time too, it's like people are gonna say, you know, people people gonna talk shit about me Like oh man, he doesn't believe in his blood. Why is he why is he branching off? Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, you know, I, I'm, I'm a blood hoe like I love all dogs You know, this really does tell you that I love all dogs, you know, linky structure colors i don't i don't care you know i love all dogs right but i really do believe in my blood right if i had to choose at the end of the day who who would i would go with i would go with mine you know i would go with mine i've seen i've seen the best of the best and of those bloods and you know there's different qualities there's different weeks and strengths and weaknesses blah 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 within every every stud within every xb within every dk within every of my blood or within my uncles you know there's always strengths and weaknesses guys there is always is um it's it just getting into the into the little details of who is the best XB, right? So when they host shows, right? Like like if Grinch was to host a show, like uh Cali uh Rick was to host a show, he hosts a show as of who is the best Seuss, right? The best Seuss or the best Grinch or something like that. And that's that's what I wanted to talk about, man, because now by that by that point, it's just who's the best of their own blood, right? It's not even a, a competition like it's like it's not even, there's no really no point for for my blood to compete with xb or competing with seuss in them like they are their own different sing signature styles but see with me right here the reason why i'm okay toss it the reason why like i'm okay to to go branch out with different bloods is because i believe that there is no perfect blood you know i i, I i'm gonna admit you know i'm gonna admit I, I'm a blood hole, you know, I'm a blood whore. <laughs> so the reason why I'm saying this is because the thing is like I always wanted to create something better, you know, and if I can if I can add the natural physique, like say for example, like Edwin, I don't think he works his dogs out for real. He like we don't even work our dogs out, guys. You know, we, we are lazy. We they're just naturally like that. And when people accuse of us of using steroids or steroids like the juice, the roids, or that we work our dogs all the time, or we feed them raw diet. Bro, I'm telling you guys, like, we, we feed them kibble, and we don't do jack shit to them. And, yeah, they run out, and that's pretty much it. You know, they run out and play and have fun with each other and, and fight, you know, like like play fight, horse fighting. But other than that, that's it. You know, that's all they do. So I just wanted to give it at a, at, at a natural like a natural peak of the, the the physical looks of the dog right i doubt edwin uses any type of anything you know it's just the dog that's just how the dog looks right he doesn't do shit to the dog i don't think he he played tugs of war with them like that i i doubt it but even if it does it enhances the looks um i don't even do that you know i don't even do that with my dogs um they just run around all the time so 
I'm just looking at it from a natural perspective and I want to combine those two together to, to create that back like thirst. But I want to keep that that forearm, the, the shoulders, the, the spread, the, the, the thickness. But it's hard. You know, it is hard to do that. You want to know why? Because when you when you outcross, oh, it's 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 so hard to explain this because you guys have to breathe for structure to cut to know how structure works, man. And uh, you know, which is why I always give props to people who breathe for for colors, man. And I mean, not colors for structures, uh, the bully style structure. You know, colors is so easy. You know, like you only need two years of breeding to make colors. Like I, I'm gonna just be real. You know, I, I just wanted to be honest with, with that. But on the other hand, structure, oh gosh, it, it's so hard. Because if I wanted to add like like Edwin's uh, Mystique or, or Mincho, the brother of, um, I, want, I want to have that back and have that smallness and compactness and enthrall those forearms and the spread like mine, it's, it's going to be really hard to do that. Like it's, it's really hard. You know, it's breeding for structure. Like when you put things, two things together, it, it's so hard. That's why, guess why, people, n top camps never ever really breed those bloods, uh, Grinch, Sus, XB with mine, right? With mine, it's rare. And even if it does happen, that shit look weird. You know, let's be real, it, it looks weird. Um, but. What I think is that it hasn't been the best of the best quality of those bloods. And from what I've seen, honestly, XB, DK all coming together. I think it's just for the hype. You know, that blood is just for the hype. You know, I'm sorry, you guys, you know, that that, that say that. I'm sorry, you know, y'all just say for the hype, you know. And even if it's true, um, I know some of y'all, for real, just claim it for the hype. You know, I, I'm just going to be real. I just want to throw it out there. You know, I, I meant no... You know, disrespect to you, but to keep his signature look, um, that's why those top camps keep that signature look. That's why people always come back to them. You know, when, when they have a when they have a customer, when they have a client or somebody that goes with their blood, most likely that person is gonna come back to the blood, the the, the third yard again to to replicate a what they have. That's how they have ongoing, you know, business sales, right? That's just a damn true. So. I just wanted to throw it out there, man. You know, I'm in no hate to anybody, you know, and I love all those dogs, you know, I love all dogs, you know. Um, but I just wanted to throw it out there, you know, and so so I'm saying it is very difficult to, to achieve a dog of that status, to have everything, to have everything, to have a rear, to have the front, you know, the DK blood, I'm not going to lie, we, 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 where rear is not as strong, right? Our backs are a little bit more longer, you know, um, which is why I fixed those flaws already, you know, with Suki and Cipher, you know, I just want to throw it out there, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, I still believe it's perfect, but at the same time too, do those people look at those flaws as flaws, right? You know, everything is subjective, right? Everything is subjective, I'm telling you guys, you know, now, like, would, would Seuss and Grinch even lick at my blood? Like, ah, oh, it's too crazy in the, in the in the shoulders or in the forearms. It's too crazy. I don't like that. You know, I want to stick with what I got. Um, but with me, I, I look at it as a weakness. You know, as I'm saying, you know, everything is subjective of how we feel on what is strong and what is weak of that dog. Um, but that's not me. You know, I look at it like, man, with, with the division that I want, in my future dogs, I want a dog to have everything, you know, and it's hard to achieve that status. And with me, you guys, you know, with my vision, my vision will always change, you know. There is not a single vision that I'm going to stick with. Like, there's not going to be a single dog that I would stick to for the rest of my life. Like, he just has to look like that. No, there, there's always something that's going to be better. Just like how we're achieving our goals. When we achieve a goal... We're going to have another goal placed and set, right? Placed in mind, you know. It's like, oh, when we achieve that, oh, we're going to get another one, you know. Just another one to achieve better. That's what it's all about. It's just, can you always do better than right now? Can you always do better when you get to that goal? And that's what my vision is, you know. So, can you really call that a vision? Right? So, hopefully.
holy shit <laughs> what are they doing so that's pretty much it that i wanted to to talk to you guys about um so yeah man just when you when you have a vision you you have to envision envision something in mind like you get that all right you know it's it's a little twist from what i expected but hey let's work with it um i think i can do better or oh man this turned out way better than i thought um let's improve it even better you know th that's just the way it is you know so will i get into the other bloods it depends you know i i have to see you know i told you guys before like i i, I will but now it's it's changed now like will i will like will i go into those bloods you know like will it be worth my time to to outcross and make it worth it because if the thing is if i do do that now when i have those those cross those outcrosses with those bloods right hold up guys my puppies being annoying right, so i just wanted to uh, wrap this video up i think that's pretty much it that i wanted to get my message across so i just wanted to recap that there is no perfect blood. There is no perfect pedigree. We all have our flaws, you know, no matter how perfect the dog is. I hope it comes a time where when I am alive, that there will be that perfect dog. And I hope that I can achieve that, you know, but there is always going to be something better. You know, even if we do achieve that, there is always something that's going to be better. You know, there's always something, there's always a bigger fish, you know, there's always a, a bigger, badder, a meaner dog out there that has not been represented yet. So who knows? You know, who knows? There's somebody that's in the making that could be way better, you know, that, that maybe that I like, you know what I'm saying, you know? And I'm just talking about Frenchies um, specifically. Bullies, um, bullies is a is a different story, you guys. I'm just this video is just it's just talking about bully. I mean <laughs> Frenchies, um, Frenchies, Frenchies in the in Frenchy world and the bully world. It's a whole different concept, uh, different mindset. You know, it's it's kind of crazy how there's different mindsets of what I think what a bully should be, what I think a Frenchie should be in in my eyes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to recap and um, shout out to Edwin once again. I love your dogs, brother. Um, hopefully, I might do business with you or my uncles, um, my uncle Tommy. Man, he 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 loves micro extreme small compact dogs. So I think his vision is is not mine, my dogs, my vision. I think his vision would probably suit better within the XB blood. You know, within the XB blood. And if I ever do want to outcross those bloods together. Um, just to try, just to try and see what's up. Um, I know my blood can stab anything. I know the XB blood, they can stab anything as well. Now, will they work out? You know, will those positive ends meet together to, to make a real positive, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just sometimes opposites attract too, and it's 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 hard, man. It's, it's honestly, it's hard, you guys. You guys just understand that breeding for structure um to find the desirable traits that you want because it's it's hard man like colors i can say when, when the puppy is born you you know the colors already you know but when a puppy is born and you gotta wait till it grows you don't know <laughs> Let me, hold on i'm not done with this video now you don't know the damn potential of the dog yet until it reaches like full maturity right you know i just want to throw this out there right <sighs> It just like, oh my gosh, you know, that, that shit got me heated now, you know, just, you guys just don't know, man, like, how hard it is to breed for sharks. So, okay, you know, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, you know, I'm done. That's that's another video for now. Um, so, as I was saying, Edwin, I love your dogs, brother, so hopefully we have a time, I have a time to, if I ever do want to outcross, when I am done uh, lion breeding my dogs and I need that genetic diversity, um, hopefully, uh, we can do some business, um, do a collab with any, any other bloods, but who knows, you know, who knows? I, I'm not sure. My vision can change within, within, uh, times of, you know, within time, you know, so who knows, you know, sometimes, you know, it's just the way things are and we, we change our goals. We change our vision in mind and it's okay. It's okay. You guys, you know, that's what I wanted to say. Love you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Let's go. No, 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 no.